In this video, we're going to talk about the Swift Destruction Challenge within the master mode of the Vow Disciple Raid. If you're not familiar with the challenge, check out this video I put out previously to talk about the details. But if you don't want to go to that video, I'll give you the TLDR here, which is basically that you have to kill all the Unstoppable Champions within a few seconds of each other. So first, let's go over some changes that have happened within the Master of 1580 version. First off, you're obviously at 1580 as far as the level. So obviously, if you're below that, you're going to not do as much damage and you're going to take more damage. So keep that in mind and going in the encounter. I would try to be within 10 light level of the encounter at least before you try this. The other changes are you're going to have more champions in the encounter. So you'll see champions that you did not see when you did on normal mode. You're going to have match games. So anything that has shields on it, they're going to be a little bit tankier. And you're going to have no radar. So that's something to keep in mind. Specifically for this encounter, the champions that are going to change is you'll all obviously know, to, know that there's unstoppable champions in the encounter. And you get those when you kill the Glyph Keepers. The Glyph Keepers themselves are Overload Champions, which is extremely annoying, but shouldn't be too difficult. And I'll talk about strategies here in a minute. There's also going to be Solar uh, Captains. So obviously with match mode, you're going to need to make sure that you have something to take them down as quickly as possible. So another piece of advice I would give you is Overloads, obviously their shields come back if you don't stun them quickly. So what I would do is obviously you could go with an unstoppable weapon. You could also go with Overload Grenade. That's an easy, easy way to deal with this. So drop, go in with a Void subclass, which that's the whole point of this season, right, is Void. Stun the champion, allow him to, you know, start taking damage, and then take him down with your high DPS weapon, like something like a Galahorn, a 1K, another Rocket Launcher. Obviously be careful that you don't take the other champion down, the other Glyph Keeper while you're in here, because if you do both of those, you'll have more Unstoppables to deal with on the outside. If you struggle with this encounter as far as getting the challenge done, again, the key is that you're going to need to shoot and kill the champions, the Unstoppable champions, within a few seconds of each other. One way we did this when we did the encounter is we basically waited until everyone was in position to stun their champion. And then on your screen, you're going to see stun the champion, stun the champion, stun the champion. When you see that, that tells you that it's time to take the champion down because you'll know all three people stun them. And when they're stunned, they take more damage. So that's something first off I would do. That makes the encounter much more manageable. If you're lower light level and you struggle with that, there's a couple other things I would do. You go with stasis. So if you have a bunch of warlock with stasis, similar to the gatekeeper challenge, you could continue to freeze the unstoppables to keep them in play. Since it's higher light level, you can also kind of chip at their damage. You want to be careful that on normal mode, but in master, since they're going to be a little beefier, you could definitely do that. And if you continue to struggle with this, again, being under level and having problems because of that, what you could do is have three defenders, have one in each area, right? have two runners who are going in and going into each of the rooms, right? They can cover the entire map. It's pretty easy to do. Then have one person as a floater. That fourth person, so basically it's almost like they have fourth defenders. That person can stay towards the center of the map and they can make sure that they're helping take down or stun champions while the three defenders in case they're struggling. So they can act as an extra defender. They can also act as someone who can help in taking down the champions. And again, for taking down the champions, I use high burst DPS weapons, things like Galahorn, things like 1K, just whatever you have that does a lot of damage. And obviously because it's master, you can also use things like Wither Horde and things like that to take damage over time. Just make sure that you time each of those correctly when you're taking the champions down. Do that three times and the encounter is over. Again, not an incredibly difficult challenge. You know, the biggest thing is just gonna be coordinating it. Uh, to be honest with you, most of the challenges in this raid are not that hard. I would say probably this challenge and probably the second challenge are going to be the hardest. I don't think Rolex is going to be that hard. And I don't think the one um, in the third encounter is going to be that difficult either. But again, we'll have to see as we get into them. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump on my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.